Hi everyone, I'm Eric. I'm really excited. Today I get to show you my current favorite expert level product tip for AHA, and that's how to include calculation columns in a pivot table of all places. Uh, you might be familiar with calculation columns. They help you perform calculations on the individual rows of a list report, but sometimes I want the summarizing capabilities of a pivot table. So today I'll show you how to sneak those calculation columns in there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's get going. Okay, here's a list report I created earlier with a calculation column showing the difference between today and the date the feature was created. In other words, the feature's age. But I don't wanna see individual feature ages, I actually wanna see the average age of features within these two parking lots, which means I'm going to need a pivot table. Let's add in our calculation column here by clicking Add Fields. We're gonna add it to the cells. And then within cells, let's see those averages and there's the magic, there's the summary row. We'll see the average for both parking lots. And it worked, you can see I still have the individual feature ages, but down at the bottom, I now have the average age of features within each parking lot. This is my example, but you can see how it expands the level of insights you can get from AHA reporting, right? Anything you can calculate, you can now summarize in a pivot table with count, total, sum, average, minimum, or maximum. So go try this for yourself, apply it to your own use case. If you get in any trouble at all, reach out to customer success, send an email to support at aha.io. They'll respond super quickly. Enjoy.